so friends let's start with lenz's law basically this law deals with the direction or the polarity of induced emf okay so again i'll repeat the statement that it opposes the changes due to which it is caused okay so it opposes the changes it may support the field it may oppose the field but it always oppose the changes okay so let's start with uh, this is the external magnetic field which is into the plane of paper and it is increasing okay so obviously it oppose the change and the changes increase in magnetic field which is downward so the induced field will be out of the plane of paper okay as inward field is increasing induced field will be out of the plane of paper to oppose this increase okay and because of that with the help of right hand thumb rule if induced field is outward we can say the current induced will be anti clockwise okay let's take the next example then the external field is out of the plane of paper but decreasing it will oppose this decrease so to oppose this decrease or to stop this decrease the induced field will also be in outward direction okay in this example the field was increasing and inward so to oppose that increase induced field what was outward in this example field is outward external field is outward and decreasing to oppose that decrease induced field will try to support it or will try to increase its value so it will be in outward direction as well so current induced will be anti clockwise okay in the next example this is the current and it is decreasing just uh, we can say that due to this current the magnetic field in the loop is into the plane of paper and decreasing so the external field is inward and decreasing hence the induced field will also be into the plane of paper to oppose this decrease so the current will be clockwise in nature okay i induced will be clockwise in this example v external is into the plane of paper but decreasing so obviously v induced v induced will be into the plane of paper to oppose this decrease okay so there are two loops if we draw, uh, if we we can say that the change in flux or the flux of the greater loop will be more so emf in the whole loop will be according to the larger flux or larger area loop okay again i am repeating my statement the direction of induced emf in the complete loop will be according to the emf or induction in the larger loop so in this loop the current should be uh emf induced is uh, b induced is inward so current should be clockwise for that in this it will become anti clockwise okay so this is the direction of emf induced in the next example there are certain conventions that the line which is over the wire means that portion of the wire is behind or is into the plane of paper and this is out of the plane of paper okay similarly this this part of wire is into the plane of paper as line has over it as line is over it similarly this part is behind the plane plane of paper this part is behind the plane of paper so when we close the switch when we close the switch the current will try to move in this direction according to the polarity and again using right hand rule we can say the external field or the field due to this loop will be in this direction 
and as the current rise it will also increase okay this will increase and to oppose that increase the b induced will be along this direction for that if b induced is along this direction the current should be like this i induced in outward or in the wire which is out of the plane of paper it should be downward and the wire the portion which is in the plane of paper or into the paper should be uh, upward direction okay or we can say the north pole will be created here and south pole will be created here because of induction and the induced current will be like this similarly in this when the switch is opened when the switch is opened so the current will current which was flowing in this direction current which was flowing in this direction because of which magnetic field was in this direction will decrease suddenly it will become zero obviously it will take some time uh, even though the time is very small it will take some time so it will decrease very rapidly because of this decrease it will create its induced field in this direction to oppose this decrease so b induced will be in this direction the here north will be created and here south will be created so we can say the current in this portion of the wire will be upward and in this portion of the wire it will be downward okay the next is uh, there is a magnet and an observer is placed over it and the magnet is moving from this to this point again we can have the use of convention okay so this portion is behind the wire this portion is behind the paper plane of paper so uh, there is a very good method as south is moving towards this loop it will create south to oppose this and this side so we can say the induced field will be like this but we have to find the direction of induced current so this observer will look at the nearer pole the nearer pole is south so just rotate these arrows so if the nearer pole is south the observer will observe clockwise current and if the nearer pole is north the observer will observe the anti clockwise current okay so if we name these coil as 1 and 2 the current in coil 2 i2 is i2 induced will be clockwise okay and as north pole is moving away from this loop one to oppose this motion or to oppose going away of north pole it will create south here and north here again this observer has a nearer pole south so even in loop one i1 induced as appeared to the observer because of nearer south pole it will be clockwise okay and in this magnet is falling and observer is placed with it and as it falls we have to find the direction of induced current as observed by the observer when the magnet is moving towards the coil north pole is closing so to oppose this in the first case when the magnet is moving down or moving towards the coil north will be created here and south will be created here and observer will look at north nearer north so while closing moving closer to the loop moving closer to the loop i induced will appear as north north means anti clockwise when it has passed the coil means while moving away south pole is moving away so the magnet will create north pole 
or the induction will create now north pole here and south pole here so again to attract it or to oppose the moving away motion the north will be created here and because of that this observer will uh, uh, see north as the nearer pole so the induced emf will be anti clockwise to him but in reality i is actually changing its direction i is actually changing its direction okay